Hey everyone, Ben from Audiologic, and for this week's Tech Tuesday, I've managed to pull in a few favours and get a hold of the UK's first demo system of the new ID14 and IDS108 series from Nexo. Announced at the end of July, the ID14 is the latest launch from Nexo and joins the massively successful ID24 and IDS range of subwoofers. The ID14 is the smallest speaker that Nexo have made to date. We put the ID24s into pretty much any application that you can imagine. Houses of worship, lecture theatres in education, corporate settings, and restaurants, just to name a few. The ID14 brings us an even more discreet cabinet, but doesn't sacrifice on the performance that Nexo are known for. Every time I run a Nexo demo, when I have everything from the M6 line arrays all the way down to the ID24s, I always start with the smallest cabinets first. People are always absolutely amazed with the output that I can get from the ID24s. And I can happily say that the case is still the same with the ID14s. These little things have a massive output power. With a massive peak of 116 dB SPL from the tops and 122 from the subs. Here today, I'm powering them via the Nexo NX Amp 4x2 Mark II, but I could just as easily power them from either a 4x1 Mark II or even a DTD amp and controller. As is typical with Nexo, the amplifier is hosting the DSP, which means it's got the speaker presets already in there. There are multiple presets available for the ID14 series, depending on the usage and the application. One preset example we've got is the main, which is for your long throw applications, which can have a ton of HF so it carries well over distance. But we've also got a lounge preset, which backs off the HF slightly, so it's really good for a background music type environment. And to make my demo kit even easier, I've got an NXDT 104 card fitted into the back of the amplifier, which is a Dante card. I'm then running Dante Virtual Sound Card on my laptop as well, so I can run signal straight from my laptop into the amplifier. So for the physical aspects of the cabinet, we've got a four inch coaxial driver in here with a 1.3 inch voice call. And then in the subwoofer, we've got a long excursion eight inch with a neodymium driver. Both cabinets come in either an install or a touring variant. I've got the touring ones here with me today, which have a metal grille on the front, so they're nice and rugged and durable. And we've also got speak on connectors on the back. For the install variant, we get a cloth grille on the front and actually a cable gland on the back. So it's suitable for the install world. There are ground stacking, flying and install wall brackets available for both cabinets, or you can run an M10 threaded bolt like I've got with me here today, which creates a pretty neat little stack. They're also rated to IP55 on the install version as well, so they're great for outdoor applications. Demoing these via recording or an online video obviously isn't going to do them justice, so if you want to get your hands on a pair or organise a demo, please do get in touch. As always, if you've got any questions, just let us know and we'll see you next time.